Welcome to Binge Watchers, where we talk about the stories and characters we love and the shows they live in. My name is Ron, and let's talk about Season 2 of the Netflix original, Master of None. Slight spoilers for Season 1 ahead, nothing too major, you know, it's, it's fine. Season 2 of Master of None picks up a while after Season 1 left off. Dev has been living in Italy for a while now and making pasta in this small town called Modena. It's a simpler life and Dev seems to be liking it. Just like Season 1, this season is a combination of Dev's story and the things that happen in his life and unrelated stories or observations about life and love and relationships and everything, pretty much. My favorite part of Aziz Ansari's comedy is not the jokes. I do think he's incredibly funny, but my favorite parts are always the stories he tells and the observations he makes about everyday life. This continues to shine through in Master of None. This show is definitely funny, but it's so much more than that. The main thing this show talks about is relationships, and that probably sounds obvious and tired and so done at this point, but it's really not. Master of None is a unique perspective. The characters feel like people, and I got so caught up in this story, I kept finding myself mirroring their emotions. I was smiling when Dev was smiling, even if there wasn't really anything funny. The episodes that don't have much to do with the story are also fantastic. I usually don't like it when shows do this because it often feels like filler and just a distraction from the main story. In Master of None, each episode is a showcase and each episode is entirely interesting on its own right, regardless of the overarching story, which is also very interesting. And that definitely holds true for the unrelated episodes, like New York I Love You, which has nothing to do with Dev or any of the other main characters, but it's just such an incredible episode. This is going to sound super cliche, but this show did something that I love. It, it got me thinking. It got me thinking about what I want out of life, what makes me happy, what I'm grateful for. I don't know. This show is just such an experience to watch. It's not a passive, you know, turn off your brain kind of thing. Master of None does a pretty amazing job at making it feel like we're just watching people living. These are just their lives, and also telling a story that moves in a certain direction. Here's what I mean. Often when something happens in a show, you get that whatever it was, it happened to move the plot along, and you're fine with it. In Master of None, it just feels like things that happen in the lives of these people. And what I loved is that some things just happen and have nothing to do with anything else and are never brought up again because that happens in real life. And it's funny because I remember saying this exact same thing as a negative, as a bad thing, about another show. So I guess it has to do with how the show structures itself and just how well they do it. And Master of None is just a masterclass in storytelling. The show also looks great. A lot of dialogue is done in these long one shots, which I absolutely love. And generally, this is one of the most creative shows I've seen lately in the cinematography, style of storytelling, writing, performances. I can't think of a single thing I didn't love about this show. The video I made about season one was also pretty much just a few minutes of me talking about how much I liked this show. So I'm not gonna waste too much of your time. Bottom line, should you watch it? In case it wasn't clear, yes, absolutely, watch this show with your face. It's clever, it's funny, it's moving, it's heartbreaking, it's damn near perfect, and I loved it. Also, Arnold is the best. I wish they gave us some... Arnie solo episodes. What about you? Have you watched season two of Master of None? Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments down below. And also let me know which other comedian or actor or performer would you like to see just given free reign to do whatever, whatever they want on a Netflix show. If you're gonna be talking about spoilers, please use spoiler tags in your comments. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help out a lot. And if you're finding Binge Watchers for the first time, welcome. I'd like to invite you to join the Binge Watchers community. Come talk about TV with us. It's a lot of fun. Subscribe to the channel. But in any case, keep binging. And I'll see you next time.